What's up, everyone? Nana D here with today's episode of Whatever Wednesday. Um, basically, where we cover a little bit of everything or whatever we feel like on that day. But more importantly, where we talk about uh, Nana J, uh, my lovely spouse, um, and what she's going through and whatnot. Uh, the naming of the channel Whatever is kind of a personal joke between us. Um, there are two words that my wife cannot stand. A certain p name for the female anatomy, or being told when she asks a question the answer of whatever. <laughs> and, you know, so uh, it's kind of an inside joke to us. It's, it's, it's Wednesdays are going to be my days to discuss um, being with someone that's diabetic, uh, has health problems, and is fighting Alzheimer's. Um, so it's kind of a joke between the two of us. Um, but before we go anywhere, a um, couple of things to throw out there um, for today. And first being the whatever list. In gaming, we found out today that Dr. Disrespect is uh, coming back to streaming after having gone off the air because of announcing he was unfaithful to his wife. Whatever. He's basically rebranding himself. Uh, changed the name of his club. You know, it's like a person leaving, talking about leaving streaming but never leaving but it being part of a ploy um, rumor has it Logan Paul is coming back to streaming whatever wasn't a fan to begin with not gonna be a fan for those not into wrestling Raw celebrated its 25th year Though, from what I've seen so far, it's been a pretty interesting show. It looks like uh, Sting is coming back to face Undertaker. And it looks like Batista is making an appearance. Uh, in the gaming and streaming world, uh, I tried uh, streaming the newest event from COD. Or oh, whatever. <laughs> I must have had the date completely wrong. Uh, for the release of it, because there was nothing there. And, of course, we have the government shut down. Whatever. Here's an idea. Congressmen, go home. President, go home. Senators, go home. You're overpaid and you overspend our money to begin with. I want to ask a question to you. Before we discuss Nana J, my question to you is do you think a revolution is coming within the United States? Do you think that there is going to be a time that states start succeeding from the Union? Or is it time for a change? Do you think that a document written over 230 years ago no longer applies to this country as it should be? Honestly, what does Washington State have in common with Washington, D.C.? Or Idaho? Or Oregon? You know, last, this past week, a gentleman uh, released a paper on the fact that there's seven different types of societies within the United States, belief systems, everything else. But I have a reason for asking this. Do you think that it is time for the United States of America to be the Coalition of States United? Now think about it. The reason I say this, the key reason I say this is because quite honestly, uh, as the Constitution started out, we the people, we the people are no longer a voice to be heard. Now, there's people that's not going to like what I say. There's people that's going to disagree with what I say. There's people that are going to have their own opinion on what I say. And be sure to leave them in the comments. 
Be sure to discuss them with us. Tell us your point of view. I'd be interested in to read it, but I want to make a point here. The concept of the United States. United. United. Keep in mind, we the people. The government is supposed to be representative of the people. The state of Washington decides that it's going to make the use of marijuana legal. The government says, no, that's against the law. It's against federal law. You can't do that, even though your people voted on it. Certain cities decide that they want the government to leave their immigrants alone because they are a crucial part of the city or the state. And the government says, we're not going to do what you want us to do. No. Time and time again. Cities and states say this, government says no. Cities and states say our people want this, government says no. And instead of the states being the voice of the people, the government says, we're not going to listen to you. You're going to do as we say. For a country founded on the belief of we the people, the country dictates to us what is or isn't. And my question to you out there on whatever we discuss Wednesday, what do you think? Do you think it's time that the government be re reformed? in a way in which the states and the people that they represent are heard and dictate? Instead of money going and being wasted on senators and congressmen and packages and trips, why not take that state's revenue and put it back into the state to, so it can help its people? Our voices, we the people, is not heard. That's evident in the states that have decided to make drug use legal and the states saying it's against federal law, we're going to prosecute you. The cities that say we are going to protect our immigrants, whether legal or not, because of the fact they are a vital part of us, our society, and the government says unknown. For a country founded on the fact that the voice of the people is supposed to be heard, it isn't anymore. It was easier when there was 13 colonies, but there aren't 13 colonies anymore. you got states within states now wanting to succeed. How long until states start to succeed from the Union? Personally, I think we should have uh, a representative from each state, and that be it. And there be a coalition of states in which the states dictate based upon the support or the denial of the people what their states are going to do and decide as a whole, based upon the voice of the people, what type of country they're going to be. That was the concept. We the people. Be sure to uh, put your uh, your thoughts and whatnot um, down. I'd like to read them. What do you think? You know, uh, has has the a state's rights been taken away? You know. Uh, 
can a state can a state can a federal government actually be the voice of the people when it's not listening to the states when it's dictating as to what we can and cannot do despite our communities and our states deciding otherwise I think states should be able to keep that money that we're wasting on federal BS and spend it on their people within their state you know whether it be fixing their own roads providing health care for their citizens providing paid daycare what type of education they're providing their children's that should be within the state's control not within the federal government control we need states to be the voice of the people and act as a voice of the people in a federal government or not be a part of a federal government you know how much money do we as citizens watch how far debt are we how many places over the last hundred years have we gone into other countries that our citizens did not want us in and that we felt was none of our business you know Americans we like to say that we're the greatest country in the world but we're not anymore and we're not because we're worrying too much about the rest of the world and taking care of the rest of the world instead of taking care of each other like we used to just food for thought that's the type of thing that'll come up on whatever Wednesday whatever I feel like talking about whatever I feel like should be a good discussion and I'm interested to hear what you have to say do you think that uh, the Constitution is passe a theory uh, of you know, uh, it's, it has, has it outlived its prime? Does it need to be rethought of? Do we need to restructure as a coalition of states instead of as a country dictating? Um, you know, I, what I thought was funny, during the election, um, there was something said overseas by Queen Elizabeth that really did not make the popular newspapers and she had said okay America you had your little experiment you see that it's not working uh, we will be more than happy to take over the running of your government just to vote Queen Elizabeth because our experiment hasn't worked we get more and more in debt we have more and more countries hating us You know, news talks about the North Koreans and their hating of Americans. Well, they still remember the Korean War where we went in and bombed them relentlessly and killed people they knew. And there's that hatred that still lives in this day. That's why they have. Is it time that we stop looking at the world and thinking that we're, we need to take care of everything and start letting our states take care of their citizens? But on to the next thing. Nana J. How is she doing? Well, her diabetes hasn't been too bad. Um, she hasn't had any, too many, in regards to her Alzheimer's, she hasn't had too many bad days. I mean, the best thing I did was that video in which I discussed what she'd been through because it's opened her up to discussing with me um, what's on her mind at any given in time. Um, she tries not to get depressed in regards to it, but from time to time it does, it does, uh, it does affect her. Um, her biggest fear is that the grand, you know, she won't remember the grandkids down the road. Um, but she, you know. Right now, she's fighting the depression of, of realizing what can happen 
dealing with what we have to deal with the house in regards to the problems that we've had here in the house lately and having to adapt. I mean, she's done phenomenal regarding that. I mean, you know, we've had to make changes and whatnot, and it would have been very easy for her to get upset and mad. And she did get mad. Um, but to get upset and, and to dwell on it, and she really hasn't dwelled on it. She's kind of taken it like a trooper. Um, but uh, the, her biggest fear and her biggest scare is going in in February to the doctor and having another MRI done. Um, she does not like MRIs. She does not like to be confined. Um, but other than that, other than that she's doing okay. Um, most of her memory is still intact. Um, she'll have points in time where she'll forget something. Um, but it's not... She's more, more coherent than she is incoherent. And that's a blessing. Um, she's begun a bucket list. She wants a lot, has some stuff that she wants to do for that. And that we hope that we can do. Um, whether or not, that all depends. I, I don't see this or Twitch being um, monetized anytime soon, especially with the new regulations of YouTube. But um, she's hanging in there. She's doing okay. Um, she tries to keep herself busy and sometimes makes more messes than she uh, gets rid of. Um, but I think that's more of wanting to stay busy, stay focused. Um, if she doesn't, it, it's very easy for her to get distracted. Um, like I said, her sugar hasn't been too out of whack. Um, she's been fighting a cold. She thinks that she still has, uh, she thinks that she really got pneumonia. Um, she's been fighting, fighting a sinus infection, um, the last couple of days. Um, but she's staying motivated, and that's, that's always good in a situation like that. Um, grandkids are keeping her busy, as they always do. Uh, she's adjusting to the not having any running water, so having to get water and uh, keep things going that way. Um, but she's adapted pretty well to it. Um, uh, other than that, I mean, there hasn't, too, there hasn't been too many major changes. There's been no major um, health changes or health news because uh, of December and January being slow months and not having any appointments starting up till February again. Um, I believe in February we're supposed to see um, the specialist for her, her mind. We're supposed to see her doctor. Um, she'll probably end up going through another battery of tests, and that is always rough on her. Um, she hates waiting. Um, but there hasn't been any drastic change in regards to her. She's still plugging along. Um, I'm still plugging along right with her. We're dealing with it. I mean, <sighs> she's been more open in regards to what she's thinking, which, which helps sometimes. Um, she's still got to learn, um, both her and our daughter have to learn, uh, if you talk about something, make sure I know that you talk about it, especially if it's something in reference that could have been said last year. Um, there, for example, was the instance of our daughter's birthday dinner and the way she was talking, um, as it was as if she hadn't done something last year. But in reality, it was in regard to a conversation they had had that I wasn't aware of. So I'm thinking she's stuck in the past. And she's actually coherent here in the future. And I'm just like, somebody tell me. Um, that's the biggest thing, is making the others around her aware of if a conversation goes on regarding something uh, to make sure that I'm aware of it so that everything, all of us are on the same page. Um, 
it would have been very easy. You know, I mean, there was a lot of confusion regarding what she wanted for dinner. Um, and wasn't aware of the conversation. Um, had I not been aware of the conversation, I would have never said, uh, what time are you coming over? I, and we wouldn't have known. Um, because I didn't, she didn't think about that. Um, so it's more of making sure that I'm in the loop so that um, if something doesn't get relayed to me, I still am at least aware of what's going on because a lot of the, their conversations are um, almost as if it happened last year. Um, there's like a total, I think, of three different conversations that I wasn't aware of. And when she was talking to me, it seemed like, like it was past related because um, a lot of stuff with us happens over and over. Um, I'm dealing with it uh, on my angle. Um, basically trying to help her adjust with it. Um, you know, we talked about one of the conversations we had uh, lately was in regards to a will and uh, doing it for certain reasons. Which, you know, kind of hard talking about that because you're talking about the death of the one you love. Um, it's not something that you want to deal with, but you got to. Um, so, like this last, uh, uh, when Bren came over for her birthday dinner Saturday, there was a conversation of, well, what do you want to get? You know, what do you want of your mom's? Um, I keep saying I'm going to send the dolls to her because she hates the dolls stay staring at her. Um, but she doesn't want the dolls, which we originally got for, Aubrey, or for Bella and Aubrey anyway. Um, nor does she want mom's Elvis stuff. Mom be stuck with Elvis until I'm in the grave. The king is gone. He's on all my shelves. Um, so, you know, we're 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 dealing with it. Um, her diabetes has been pretty good. Um, she's just been tired. Um, but then again, that, the two of us aren't really what you can call on a regular schedule. Um, I haven't slept right for about a year now, and. That was one of the problems I had with work also. I'm a lot like my mother. And when I go to bed, my brain keeps me up and switches in overtime. It's like a, 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 a second wind, so to speak. And uh, no matter what time I lay down, it will take me hours to fall asleep. You know, a good example last night was um, I recorded uh, three videos uh, to be put up here on, on, on the channel because I wanted to get a little bit in the head, get something in the can, so to speak. And uh, uh, that was about 1.30, and I went to bed right after I finished that, and was awake until about 6 o'clock this morning, even though I was in bed. Um, Jen, on the other hand, she can only sleep for a couple of hours. Uh, she usually falls asleep, goes to bed about 7, 8 o'clock. She's up at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, on rare occasion until 4. So we don't have the best sleeping patterns. Um, that was one of the problems I had with work. Um, I got to the point where I'd, I wouldn't fall asleep till uh, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'd be waking up at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning to go into work. And that would go on for about a month, two months. And then uh, I'd be to the point that my body shut down. Um, so I'm trying to watch my health while watching her health. Um, but she's not doing too bad. I'm, I'm extremely proud of her. Um, it'd be real easy for her to fall in a depression type mood and give up. Um, <coughs> she hasn't. Um, it can be aggravating at times. You know, and I'm sure anyone that's dealt with somebody with Alzheimer's or, or memory loss out there it can be frustrating. Uh, I remind myself, you know, it's it's not her fault um, because it really isn't. Um, my biggest thing is I kind of I kind of 
watch what I say so it doesn't come across wrong because it would be easy to say something um, that she would prejudge uh, uh, as being meant in a completely different way. And, um, you know, uh, and I'll catch myself sometimes too. I mean, some, it's weird how we talk to others and then a situation can put a completely light, different light on that situation. It's like she'll mention something to me that we had a discussion and I'll go, well, don't you remember? No, apparently not. Um, um, or a, a frustration can get to, get there if you've said the same thing four or five days in a row. But the key is not to get upset. At it. Um, so we're doing pretty good on that 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 front. Um, she's doing well. Um, she's down to a size ten now, I believe, and she's you know, which is extremely well. The problem is, is my main worry because she doesn't want to go in and be checked for cancer. Again, she doesn't want to have to deal with the stress. Is how are we starting another weight loss situation of five pounds a week? Um, you know, she's already stated if she does get cancer again, she is not going through chemo. She's not going to do all that. And you know, I kind of I, I understand that situation. I've known several people that have gone through chemo and they never never were the same. I personally, if I was diagnosed with chemo, with cancer, would not go through chemo. Would not um, put myself through that. Um, but that's a that's a deal for another day, another discussion. Um, because it, my feeling is, I think as, as humans, we try too hard to extend our lives past the point that we were supposed to be meant for. And I want to live my quality of life as best as I can. And going through chemo, you know, I've watched people go through chemo and never recover. And as a matter of fact, or chemo being the reason, they got worse. So... You know, I can understand her not wanting to do that. I sure as hell don't. Um, but I'm hoping, and I know she's hoping for good results when she goes in for the MRI. I think that, I think if, if, if there isn't a lot of um, degradation, de de Trying to think of the word I'm I want to use, um, deterioration. Uh, I'm thinking if there isn't a lot of uh, deterioration in the brain, um, that maybe that'll help ease her mind that she's not losing it too quickly. Um, I think that would help her mood as well. I mean, right now it's you know after one test, you don't know what what's working, what's not, and where you're at. So, so uh, Nana J is doing real well um, other than the fact she wants to keep up the Christmas tree she wants to make it a year-round tree I want it to disappear keep saying I'll put go go down to housing and put it in that big blue storage bin she doesn't like that idea don't know why um, <laughs> so that's pretty much it for today's episode of whatever Wednesday um, you know, if there's topics you'd like to see be brought up, um, there's always Whatever Wednesday or Frantic Freedom Friday. Um, so be sure to put your suggestion in the ba in the bottom. Uh, tomorrow's episode will be Toddler Thursday, in which, or Toddler Toddler Tales Thursday, um, in which uh, I'll talk a little bit about uh, grand raising grandkids with disabilities. Um, I'll give you a little history on the grandkids, what their disabilities are, and uh, how we deal with it. Um, you know, uh, I think Jen does phenomenally well considering all the stress she already has on her um, in dealing with the grandkids also. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end this for now because of the fact that I do, I have to try to get my 
vehicle license tomorrow if it doesn't cost too much. Um, my tax expired at the end of last month, so I got to go down to the courthouse and get uh, find out if we owe any state any uh, city taxes, back city taxes, and um, then I have to go down and uh, get the tag for it. So I'm going to try to consider. And as I said, I don't sleep. Um, don't sleep well. Um, but there's a lot on my plate. Um, but uh, in order for me to try to do that, I'm going to end this. Hopefully, um, the episode I had in the can for um, Tuesday is done uploading so I can uh, get to bed. I want to wish everyone a wonderful Wednesday. Um, hopefully, you know, um, it brings a lot of goodness and happiness to you. And uh, like I said, you know, if you like what you see on here, or if one of the shows, um, like you, you like what you see, um, the shows are only going to get better. Um, the more organized I get them. Um, right now, I'm just kind of off the top of my head uh, type stuff, but I'm going to start keeping notes. Um, for that discussion, so we can have discussions. Um, but you know, if you're a gamer, S Sunday is a great gaming uh, deal. Uh, if you're trying to st get motivated or need help, you know, ideas on how to keep going in life. You know, Monday's about motivation. Uh, Tuesday is uh, where I pretty much talk about myself as a transgender or uh, transgenders in general. Um, the next one is going to be. A mind blower I think I have a very good direction in mind for that um, Wednesdays you know whatever Wednesday you know um, if there's something you want to talk about if you have questions be sure to leave comments um, Thursdays as I said uh, raising grandkids with disabilities and free-for-all kind of situation on Friday where you know I'll just rant maybe Rant, rant and say what's on my mind and say my thoughts on things whether people agree or not you know um, but anyway so that that's basically the way that we, the weeks are going to work uh, the days of the week are going to work uh, broadcast wise um, Saturdays are, are sacred to me because it's the only day every other week um, that I don't have anybody any kids here for 24 hours so uh, every other weekend, I'm kind of kind of want to enjoy my game, uh, and the, the or whatever we decide to do. Um, one last thing on on whatever Wednesday, and um, for those of you that haven't seen Jumanji, uh, the the newest movie, go out and take a, take a gander on it. Real good movie. Um, uh, semi family friend friendly. I mean, it's not real over the top. Um, um, other than Jack Black being a, a white, uh, popular girl. Um, but it's a good movie. Um, they all did very well in it. But until tomorrow and, uh, Toddler Tales Thursday, I want to wish everyone a wonderful evening. And, uh, you all take care of one another and have a wonderful rest of the week.